Hey guys, it's Teddy Bear, and today I'm bringing you some awesome gameplay, but also, you know, I want to take a second and talk about Cloak, because a lot of people use it incorrectly. There's a time and a place to use it. My first thing about Cloak is that when the noobs start using it, they use it completely wrong. I mean, oh, you know, you can't see me, and I'm running down, uh... Let's take Detroit, and you're running down B Street, and you're like, Oh, well, you know, no one can see me. Oh my gosh, no, nobody can see me. We can see you. Now, there is a time and a place for it. Like, if, what's a good example? If you're running a sniper class, and you're camping, then that's a good spot for it, because you're sitting in a corner, people aren't looking exactly right at that, so, they're going to miss you, and you'll be able to get the kill. We've taken control. <clears throat> there is so many people that I, I just, I just, I go on and on and on about it because I, so many times I see these people and it frustrates me because they don't understand how to strategize and use the game correctly. Or use Cloak correctly anyways. You know, like, you know, um, I have a friend, he absolutely loves Cloak. He plays a lot of S&D, uh, Search and Destroy. Uh, Knifey, I'm talking about you. And he does a lot of ninja defuses. And he also, um, he uses, he just, he's amazing when he does it. Because, you know, he knows how to use it correctly. He, he'll sometimes lay right next to dead bodies when put cloak on and nobody will see him and he'll come up and knife him and he's done he, they're done um you know but they're like i when i first started playing the game i used cloak and i was like oh yeah no one's gonna be able to see me yeah that changed real quick and i changed my mind about that real quick i absolutely cannot stand cloak i cannot talk about it enough but anyways Another little topic I wanted to hit on is, um, camping. Now, a lot of people get angry with camping. And I'll tell you right now. Camping is a valid tactic in Call of Duty. It has been a valid tactic since I've started playing, and that was Modern Warfare 3. And... I personally don't camp. I don't have the patience for it. Now, there's a difference between staying in one spot the entire map and camping. Camping, you find a spot, you take a couple shots, you get your kills, you move. Because, and this comes from, this is a little piece of advice from my friend Jamo. Um, if you do that, if you stay in one spot, then they're going to come back for vengeance. When if, if you move to, like, a very small difference of a spot... They're gonna not see you, and you're gonna be able to get a kill. Now, there are some very rare instances when if you're staying in the same spot, it really does work. If you notice, um, let me give you an example. Um, in Biolab, in Building 7, when people are sitting up top, of those uh, crates or whatever and people come over and snipe the crap out of you and or you know they get you and you don't see them and you're you know you're cussing up a storm and you're getting all mad well it, it, that's a tactic that's a fair tactic and a lot of people don't understand that and it just it that drives me nuts because do I like camping absolutely not but it just I can't explain how much I actually cannot stand camping and cloak. Um, another big thing that I do not like is the EM-1 uh, laser gun. Um, it's just, it's annoying. Because, you know, you go around and they've got a concentrated automatic weapon that's a laser beam that all they have to do is hold down the trigger button and spray in a, you know, in, in, in a matter of fact, in a matter of saying. Now, the, 
the the EM1 is a useful weapon, but it's a very annoying weapon because you know you're you're holding you're holding B and you're trying to you know you're trying to uh, either lock it down completely or you know you're camping at it, making sure that you know no one takes it. Well, here they come. They're coming to grab it, and you're screwed because they're coming. And how do I put it? I don't know. I don't even know how to put it. But they're just gonna take you out. Um, the AE4 is a little bit different, in my opinion, because it might be automatic, but it's more of a, a assault rifle versus a heavy weapon that's primarily just a spray and pray um and i i mean i can go on and on about different weapons that i don't like um what's another one that i don't like oh oh oh, oh the pytex it's got too much kick i tried using it now granted i play with one hand so i'm not you know the greatest at that but i um it's just it's just not fun and uh for me because you have to stay back and I'm more of a I'm a definite rusher because um, I have absolutely no patience like I know it takes a lot of patience to be a camper and you know to use like a heavier weapon like an SMG most of the time I'm running an SMG um, or uh, you know I, I do run an AR occasionally not so much anymore because I do like this uh, the speed of the SMG and then the closeness and you can just finish off your uh, opponent much easier and you're gonna win that battle because they have to put um, they have to get further away for it to work um, in, a, in some cases um, also guys I want to talk about real quick um, what's coming um, I have recorded quite a few new videos um, and I'm going to do some narration type things now, uh, just to kind of mix things up. I really do hope that you guys stick around for, um, and subscribe for my new videos because it's, it, it's going to be crazy and it's going to be fun. Um, I really do, uh, enjoy making these videos for you guys. I know I don't have a regular schedule yet, but I will work on that. Um. I am going on vacation in about two months, so I'm going to try and before then have a decent schedule and because I'll be gone for 10 days, making sure that I have videos that are within that time. We, um, as a clan, the Party Gaming, we are asking all of our followers and all of our, uh, well, all of our followers, I guess you could say, um, to go ahead hit this like button, like it up, share it up, subscribe to my channel. Also, a big shout out to dgame underscore 13, uh, my boy Fluffy. Um, make sure that you subscribe to him. Um, oh, and a couple more shout outs. Sammy D, uh, Zombie Monkey 6969. There, there's just plenty of people that you know, I could be sitting here shouting out. I could just go down the list. Um, Alex, RBK, Gummy, Knifey, of course, JMO, Country, of course, um, Zombie Lady, uh, we got Zebra Girl now, we've got Zombie Goku, Esper Desire, I mean, Repulse, it, it just goes on and on and on. I really do hope you guys stick around for some more stuff and some more videos, and I hope you guys enjoy your day. Later.